With 29,000 kilometers of coastline, mountains covering three-fourths of the land, and a population of 127.3 million, Japan is full of unique pockets to explore. Welcome to Japan Adventures. When you're driving, you gotta have some essential snacks. That's a good one. It says, uh, mayonnaise salmon. I'll be in there too. in the town of Fujinomiya on the southwest face of Fuji and drove the remaining several kilometers to the fifth station of the Fujinomiya Trail. By the time I parked my car, it was dark, except for the lights from the town of Fuji below. I found a spot to put my sleeping bag on the back porch of a closed visitor center. Oh, so nice up here. The air's great, the view is amazing. And tomorrow, this is going to be very, very interesting. Good night. Oh, just woke up. It's about 5 in the morning. It's a beautiful day. Uh, nice view over the city of Fuji. And the whole camp is rustling. The camp, turns out, is the, the car park. Most people stay in their cars. They're actually pretty tricked out cars for camping. I feel a little underdressed uh, just because my options today for footwear were ski boots, flip flops, or Nikes. Fortunately, I was prepared, but prepared for conditions a year ago when my friend Kirsten and I first skied Mount Fuji. Snow drifts surrounded the parking lot. You had to put your crampons on immediately, and it was a giant snowfield the entire way up. However, from what I had seen so far, I guess there wouldn't be much snow at all this year, and I could climb the 1,400 meter trail in my running shoes. Crampons in my backpack, just in case. All climbing tracks are currently closed. Novice climbers without sufficient experience in winter mountain climbing are directly linked to distress calls. The caretakers of the climbing tracks Bear no responsibility for climbers who ignore this warning and meet distress on the mountain. The sign said nothing specifically about experienced morons, so I continued on. I'm about five minutes in, and I already came to a snow crossing. Ah, come on, Nikes. Come on, Nikes. So far, so good. I came around a corner and I was blasted by the rising sun. The view of the foothills surrounding Fuji and Japan's coastline was surreal. Then I looked up and saw another snow field. The sides of it were bare, but treacherous. Deep scree and loose boulders forced me to climb the steep snow field in running shoes and crampons. Yep. <laughs> kind of an idiot. It's a dumb idea, but it's actually working better than I thought. After about 300 meters of cramponing, I was back to just my running shoes. Weaving through a volcanic andesite, the closed summer stations and auspicious Tori gates. In the Shinto religion, the gates mark a transition from the profane to the sacred. Or in my case, from a nice trail back to another steep face requiring crampons. This last face was much icier than it looked. I took it slow to avoid any mistakes that would hurl me back down the mountain. As you crest the rim, another Tori gate awaits. This year, it looked much more welcoming than the year before. When the snow is deep enough, 
This is also where you put on your skis, navigate through some rocks, and then you can ski all the way down to the parking lot. But because of the snow conditions and my footwear, I was just looking to summit. Once you get to the rim, the top is a good it's actually not too hard if you take a light pack uh, I would be a little smarter with the shoes you decide to come up here try best to wear hiking boots skiing was a bust but with the relatively warm weather I stayed on the summit longer than I normally would to enjoy the view and contemplate my next Japan adventure